Freedom from suffering does not mean escape from suffering. Freedom from suffering does not mean transcendence of all suffering. But it does mean be working with it, not getting tossed around as much by it, being able to hold our experience rather than not being able to hold it, which then means we start acting in ways to prevent ourselves from feeling it, which then just continues to make the suffering worse. You know, Zen Master Sung San used to say to us all the time, you need to understand your karma. What he was saying is you need to understand your own mind. Zen is an inquiry practice. What am I? What is this? Nothing is left out of that inquiry. So as long as we're keeping this great question and this great doubt, everything that we do is our Zen practice. Not just formal sitting, chanting, bowing, talks and interviews, but our entire life is our practice. If we leave anything out, then we're not fully practicing. So practice offers us a structure, if you will, to work with this suffering. This structure gives us, in a way, what I want to say is a playing field to be able to work with our situation. All of us have absolutely crazy minds. I can't really say, I don't know what goes on in every single one of your minds, but I've never talked to anybody who doesn't report bizarre thoughts and feelings that arise. Things that we don't understand, things that don't make sense to us, and that we struggle to hold. And the first aspect of our practice is finding a way to hold our experience. We're so stuck in our thinking, feeling, defensive posture that we need a way to pause that and to be able to investigate without getting lost in likes and dislikes feelings good about it or feeling bad about it, but being able to hold things in a wider way. And the more we're able to do that, the less we have to distance ourselves from our own experience. So very simply breathing slowly and deeply into our lower abdomens, offer us a way to widen what we can hold. Sometimes you've heard me say to make the bowl of our awareness big enough so that everything isn't sloshing over the edges all the time, but that we can actually hold our experience. So while I say that our practice is vast and wide, it's grounded and rooted in our sitting practice. <laughs>